Hello, everybody, and welcome to Wednesday. We are using our books that we created to make um, some new techniques with using oil pastel. So on your very first page, we are going to write oil pastel techniques. You probably either have colored pencils or marker at your table, but I do suggest not using the oil pastels to write this. They're very thick and really a pencil would be the best thing to use to write this information. Once you have oil pastels techniques written down on your paper, I'm just adding a little border. This is optional. You do not have to do this step, but I kind of like the way it makes it look. Next, um, we are going to create some boxes on our paper. There's no right or wrong way of doing this. Maybe you want circles instead of boxes, but you have to have at least four, and I suggest using up all of your space on your paper to create four different sections. In these boxes, we are going to create some cool techniques or learn some new cool techniques using the oil pastels. So in the first box, what we will be doing will be using um, an eraser to create some eraser smudgings. So we're going to write eraser smudging at the bottom of a box or at the top or somewhere near that box. This is just the box that I chose. You can choose any box that you would like. So that is spelled E-R-A-S-E-R. -E Smudgings is S-M-U-D-G-I-N-G. -G. Eraser smudging. Next, you're gonna pick a color um, of an oil pastel and you are going to draw some lines. And then you're going to take your eraser and we're gonna move back and forth with the eraser to create this smudge. Now we're not completely erasing the lines, we're just adding this cool looking texture, this cool technique. You don't wanna over work the eraser or you'll just erase most of the oil pastel. The next box, we are gonna be doing a toothbrush smudging. Toothbrush smudging. Toothbrush is spelled T-O-O-T-H-B-R-U-S-H. Smudging, S-M-U-D-G. I-N-G. And we are getting a new oil pastel if you want different colors. And I just wanted to mix it up a little bit by drawing some lines at a diagonal. Now we're gonna take one of these toothbrushes and it already has a little bit of black oil pastel, so that's probably gonna scrub off on your paper. But that's okay, it's giving the same effect that it would um, if you were doing this technique. It just kind of rubs the oil pastel around on the paper. The next technique that we will be doing will be fork smudging. So we are gonna um, write at one of your boxes, right by one of the boxes, fork smudging. That is spelled F-O-R-K, smudging S M. U D G I N G. And we're going to stick with this whole line theme and draw some more lines. I am going horizontally this time. You can make your lines whichever way you want them to go, but I decided to go horizontally. Then you're going to take a fork at your table and you're gonna move the opposite direction of your lines. So mine are gonna be moving up and down, smudging those together. I really kinda like the look of this technique. And the final one, which also is a super cool looking effect, 
It is finger smudging. Um, I went ahead and got the oil pastel and drew the lines first because I totally forgot to write finger smudging. So you may want to get your pencil out or your marker out and go ahead and write finger smudging near this last box. It is spelled F-I-N-G-E-R smudging. S-M-U-D-G-I-N-G. I drew some wavy lines, but if you just want straight lines or that's fine if you want to do zigzag lines. But then we're going to take our finger and we're going to pull the oil pastel. And you can do it whichever direction you want. This is just the way I wanted mine to look. And these are the four different techniques. And I hope you enjoyed making these new techniques. And we'll put our books away.